Hi there, this is a quick demonstration of how to get started with our NAT Traversal for UNet plugin. The first thing you're going to want to do is import the plugin from the Asset Store. An example scene is included that works right out of the box, but instead of using that, I'm going to show you how to update your existing network manager to make use of the plugin. Now that the plugin is imported, we can start using it in our code. I've already got a game object with a custom network manager script on it here. This is just the standard UNet networking setup. There are two GUI buttons, one for the host that calls create match, and another for the clients that calls list matches. When the match list is returned, we join the first match in the list. So that's the Unity way, which is going to use the relay servers for every player that connects. That's kind of lame, so let's set up the code to use the NAT traversal connection method instead. The first change you'll need to make is to extend from NAT traversal.networkmanager instead of the network manager provided by Unity. This gives you access to all the extra functionality provided by the plugin. We can get rid of the awake method now, adding the network match component is handled for you behind the scenes so you don't have to worry about it. Now instead of calling create match here, we want to call start host all. This will start a host that is listening using all of the connection methods that are enabled here. So if you want, you can easily disable relay connections entirely, or enable only punch through, or disable direct connects, anything you want. Alright, back to the code. We still call list matches like normal, but now when the list is returned, we call start client all instead of join match. This will initialize a connection to the host of the match using all enabled connection methods. And that's it! Your players will now be able to host games, even behind a router, with no manual port forwarding necessary. With just these few simple changes, you can reduce your use of the expensive relay servers by 85-95%, to 95%, saving you a boatload of money. Thanks for watching!